Hello coders, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll see how to create Flappy Bird game using block-based programming. So here we are going to use Scratch blocks to create this program. So let's just see how your Flappy Bird game works and how many characters are there. So in this game, you will find one bird which you need to control using space key to make it move in the air. And whenever the pipes will come, you need to uh, make sure your bird will cross these pipes without touching this. Now let's just see how it works. So now if I run the program, you need to use space key to control your bird in the air without touching the pipes. If you cross the pipes, you'll get one point. And if your bird touches the pipes, your game will be over. So I'll show you how it works. So if my bird touches the pipe, then it will say game over. So let's just see how to create this program. So for this program, you will require three different characters. So first character is your parrot. Now how you are going to use add this? So I'm using this mblock application, which is same as your scratch application. If you have scratch application, you can use scratch three as well. So first thing is you need to add the parrot. Now, how you are going to add this character? Go to plus sign, which is add button, and then you can directly search for parrot. Instead of parrot, you can again take another character and then you can select parrot and you can click on OK. Now, once you add your parrot, you need to create a program which says whenever you will click on flag, you will say key switch backdrop to blue sky. So here in your background section, we have added two backgrounds. One is blue sky background and one is game over background. So game over background is customized one. I'll show you how to do it. You can directly add blue sky background from your background library and to create your backdrop too, you just need to, I'll show you how to do it. So I'll delete this one. We'll create add backdrop and then click on paint application. Once you click on paint application, you will get blank screen where you just select color as black go to rectangle take the rectangle draw a rectangle of your stage area take this t change to different color i'm taking yellow color you can again take another color and just type the text as game over so whenever your bird or parrot will touch this pipe it will say game over so remember name of my backdrop is backdrop 2 and for blue sky name is blue sky. Now once you create this, you'll go to write section. Now let's just understand the code for parrot. So first, whenever you will start, it will switch to blue sky backdrop. So that whenever you will start, you'll get a nice colorful your nature background. Whenever flag click, it will say next costume so that you will get that effect of bird is flying. Then flag click change y by minus three so that it always try to fly in the air. And when you click on space key, it will change the position from glide statement. It will go to x position and y position plus 40. And one more code, which is very important code. If you touch the brown color part of your, so if I run the program again, so if you see this brown color part, so if my character touches this brown color part, it will say game over. So to do that, we have written whenever you touch the brown color part, switch backdrop to backdrop to backdrop to is nothing but our game over sprite or game over background and then it will stop the program. So this is about your parrot character programming. So for the parrot sprite, this is the program. So this is the complete program for parrot sprite. For your pipes, pipes are not included in the sprite library, so we need to create them. Now, how you are going to create it? I'll show you how to create it. We'll click on add button and we'll go to paint option. So paint option, using paint option, you can create your own characters. Now, whenever I want to create own pipes, so we'll click on rectangle and I will take green color. 
and draw a rectangle so that it will look like pipe and again you can create pipe like this so in between this gap we are taking as per the size of character so whatever size you want based on that you can create your own uh, size of the pipe you can set the size so this is my uh, you can say one set of pipes so this is how we are going to create two set of pipes again if you want the outline for this you can go to outline section and you can take the outline so this is how you will create your set of pipes so for both the options or for both the pipes you can set the outline so i have already created these pipes so you can see on my screen there are two um, pipes which i have already created so i'll show how to program them or what is the programming behind that so for both the pipes programming will be same only there is a little bit change so we have created one variable to increase our score because score is the important part of any gaming application so here we have created a score with the help of variable section so you can go to variable section click on make a variable and you can create a variable with name score so first we are setting it to zero then we have set x position to 360 so that our pipe will come from the right direction and then rest of the code is helpful to move your um, pipes towards the left direction so here there is only one change here we are setting wait for one second in your pipe one and in your pipe two sprite we are setting it to wait for five seconds that is the only difference in both the pipe program rest everything will be the same so this is the program for your pipe so this is the complete program for your flappy bird game just we need three different characters one is your parrot two are your pipes and two backgrounds will require so now when you run this program your score will become zero you can move your bird in up direction with the help of space key so you need to keep on pressing the space key and if it touches the you can say pipe it will say game over so if it touches the pipe it will say game over thank you for watching my video subscribe to my channel and like the video